Join us on a journey to explore the fragile existence of Earth's most endangered animal species. From majestic giants to elusive creatures, witness their struggle for survival and the urgent need for conservation. Eastern Lowland Gorilla Being the largest of all gorilla subspecies hasn't stopped the Eastern Lowland Gorilla's decline to extinction. These gentle giants are known for their stocky bodies, large hands, and short muzzles. Despite their size, they mainly eat fruit and other herbaceous materials. Unfortunately, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla is critically endangered. Since the 90s, their population has declined by more than 50%, from 17,000 to less than half that number. In the last 50 years, their range has decreased from 8,100 square miles to about 4,600. This subspecies may now occupy only 13% of its historical range. Civil unrest in the Democratic Republic of the Congo has had a devastating impact on both the Eastern Lowland Gorilla and the Mountain Gorilla populations. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla makes its home in lowland tropical rainforests in the Eastern DRC. Throughout the unrest, there have been vulnerable to poaching, even in Kahuzi Bayaga National Park, home to the largest population of protected Eastern Lowland Gorillas. Giant Ibis The Giant Ibis, the largest ibis in the world, is a critically endangered species that requires our immediate attention. These magnificent birds require huge tracts of intact lowland deciduous forest to thrive and are shy by nature, feeding in secluded forest pools far from the village. Unfortunately, habitat loss and poaching have pushed the giant ibis to the edge of extinction. With only around 345 of these reclusive creatures left in the world, and 90% of which are in Cambodia, it's crucial that we take action to protect them. The primary causes of their decline seem to be drainage of wetlands for cultivation and the epidemic clear rutting of forests for rubber, cassava, wood pulp, and teak plantations in Southeast Asia. But there is hope. Organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund are working to protect the giant ibis and restore its populations. By working closely with local communities and developing wildlife-friendly products such as ibis rice, we can help ensure this magnificent species has a future. The Hawksbill Turtle the hawksbill turtle, an extremely endangered species, is found in the tropical and subtropical waters of major oceans across the world. These turtles have a unique ability to survive primarily on a diet of sponges. This means they play a crucial role in preserving the well-being of coral reefs. Regrettably, the hawksbill turtle faces numerous threats that endanger its existence. These include the loss of its natural habitat, accidental capture in fishing nets, coastal development, and marine pollution. However, its most significant threat comes from the illegal wildlife trade, driven by the demand for its intricate shells, which are often fashioned into combs, jewelry, and other trinkets. Despite being protected under the Endangered Species Act and listed as an endangered species with the objective of conserving and reviving their population worldwide, the hawksbill turtle has experienced a staggering decline of 84% to 87% over the past three generations. Their numbers continue to decline rapidly, with an estimated global population of merely 8,000 nesting females remaining. The Irrawaddy Dolphin The Irrawaddy Dolphin was once plentiful in the coastal regions of South and Southeast Asia, as well as in three prominent rivers. These would be the Irrawaddy in Myanmar, the Mahakam in Indonesia Borneo, and the Mekong. It's disheartening to know that the river in Myanmar is currently home to a mere 79 Irrawaddy Dolphins, highlighting the urgent need for proactive measures to safeguard their existence. The threats faced by the Irrawaddy Dolphins are numerous and alarming. One of the most significant dangers is posed by bycatch, which refers to the unintentional capture of marine animals in fishing gear. These dolphins often become entangled in fishing nets, leading to injury or even death. Furthermore, the presence of pollutants in the water, stemming from various sources such as industrial waste and agricultural runoff, further compounds their predicament. The accumulation of these contaminants can adversely impact the dolphins' health, impair their reproductive capabilities, and weaken their overall immune systems. Tragically, entanglement in fishing nets exasperates the vulnerability of Irrawaddy dolphins. As they navigate their habitats, these gentle creatures often encounter fishing gear that ensnares and traps them, resulting in injury or suffocation. Furthermore, the escalating effects of climate change pose yet another perilous challenge. Rising sea levels, ocean acidification, and alterations in water temperature disrupt the delicate ecological balance on which the dolphins depend for their survival. The Blue Whale the blue whale, a magnificent creature and the largest animal on Earth, is facing a grave threat as an endangered species. Despite their colossal size, with some individuals weighing as much as 200 tons, the population of blue whales is alarmingly low, estimated to range between 10,000 and 25,000 individuals worldwide. The decline of the blue whale population can be attributed to a multitude of factors, each contributing to the precarious state of this majestic species. Toxic pollutants present a significant threat to blue whales as well. 
These toxins enter the marine food web throughout various pathways, ultimately reaching the blue whales at the top of the food chain. Prolonged exposure to these contaminants can lead to reproductive issues, compromise immune systems, and overall diminished health and vitality of the species. Climate change, with its far-reaching impacts, poses an acute threat to blue whales as well. The changing climate disrupts the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, particularly affecting the availability and distribution of krill, the primary food source for blue whales. Rising sea temperatures, ocean acidification, and altered currents all contribute to shifts in the distribution and abundance of krill populations. Consequently, blue whales must travel longer distances and expend more energy to locate and secure their essential prey, further jeopardizing their survival. The Florida Manatee The Florida Manatee, a subspecies of the West Indian Manatee, primarily inhabits the waterways of Florida. While there has been a positive trend in population growth with a current estimated minimum of 7,520 individuals, resulting in the species being reclassified from endangered to threatened under the Federal Endangered Species Act in May of 2017, manatees continue to face numerous threats that jeopardize their well-being. One of the significant challenges encountered by Florida manatees is the loss of seagrass, a crucial food source for these gentle marine mammals. The degradation and destruction of seagrass beds, often caused by human activities such as coastal development, pollution, and bloating, deprive manatees of their primary sustenance. As well as collision with boats, they pose a significant danger to Florida manatees. As these slow-moving creatures navigate the same waterways that are frequently used by recreational and commercial vessels, the risk of accidental collision increases. The powerful impact of a boat strike can cause severe injuries or even prove fatal for manatees. Regrettably, in the year 2021, we witnessed an alarming number of manatee deaths in Florida. A total of 937 manatees perished, representing approximately 10% of the state's manatee population. This unprecedented mortality rate emphasizes the urgency of addressing the multitude of threats facing Florida manatees and implementing effective conservation measures to protect their future. The Kakapo Pretty hard to believe that there's only 248 of these guys left in the whole of New Zealand. In fact, their entire population is confined to just four small islands. And because of that, every single one of them is uniquely named and diligently monitored with tracking tags. Their decline is caused by a number of factors. The arrival of Polynesian settlers in New Zealand introduced hunting pressure on the kakapo, as their feathers and meat were highly valued. The subsequent arrival of European settlers brought with it another devastating blow to the kakapo population, the destruction of their natural habitats. The laws of their habitat not only limited their access to essential food sources, but also disrupted their mating and breeding behaviors, further exacerbating their decline. The introduction of non-native predators such as cats, rats, and stoats have been catastrophic for the kakapo. These invasive species prey upon the defenseless parrots, targeting their eggs, chicks, and even adult birds. A kakapo recovery program was established in 1995, signifying a vital turning point in the battle to save the species from extinction. Additionally, intensive breeding and reintroduction programs have been instrumental in bolstering the population. Let's just hope that all these measures aren't too late. African Forest Elephant The African Forest Elephant is a critically endangered species that faces an uncertain future, inhabiting the dense rainforests of West and Central Africa. Their population has declined by more than 86% over a period of 31 years. Primary threats to their survival are habitat loss due to deforestation for agriculture and human infrastructure and, of course, poaching for ivory. Estimating the population of African forest elephants is a difficult task due to their preference for dense forest habitats. Traditional counting methods such as visual identification aren't possible, so their population is usually estimated through dung counts. That's an analysis of the density and distribution of their feces. According to the IUCN-SSC African Elephant Specialist Group, which gathers population estimates by country every few years, the most recent reliable estimates of the continental population of both African elephant species combined is around 415,000. The Javan Rhino The Javan Rhinoceros, the smallest among the five rhino species, possesses remarkable physical characteristics. Typically weighing between 1,360 and 2,415 pounds, these majestic creatures display slight sexual dimorphism. Males are slightly larger than the females. Measuring approximately 9 to 10 feet in length and standing 3 to 4 feet at the shoulder, Javan rhinos command attention with their impressive stature. Adorning their heads is a single horn, ranging from 6 to 18 inches in length, adding to their distinctive appearance. Dressed in a dusky gray coat, the Javan rhino's hide showcases its singular horn, which measures about 25 centimeters long. Notably, only the male boasts visible horns, while the female possess significantly shorter horns or no horns at all. The rhino's skin, devoid of hair, exhibits an intriguing feature in the form of loose folds. This creates an armor-plated appearance reminiscent of the Indian rhino. 
Regrettably, the Jarvan Rhino finds itself on the brink of extinction with a critically endangered status. The dwindling wild population stands at a mere 60 to 74 individuals, underscoring the urgent need for conservation efforts. The primary factors contributing to their critically endangered status include habitat loss, population fragmentation, and rampant poaching. The Vaquita The Vaquita, a small porpoise exclusive to the upper Gulf of California and Mexico, faces a harrowing battle for survival. This marine mammal holds the unfortunate distinction of being the most endangered of its kind worldwide. It's been classified as critically endangered by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species since 1996. With a shockingly low population estimate of merely 10 to 20 individuals remaining, the Vaquita teeters on the precipice of extinction. This is primarily due to its diminutive population size and the perilous entanglement in illegal gill nets supplied by illicit fishing operations within Mexico's Gulf of California, notably in protected marine areas. Tragically, the Vaquita falls victim to an unintended consequence of human activities. Specifically, the deployment of gill nets intended for capturing other marine species, such as the Toa Toba, an equally critically endangered fish sharing its habitat in the upper Gulf of California. These delicate porpoises become ensnared in these illicit gill nets, leading to their tragic demise as they're trapped and ultimately drowned. This ruthless entanglement has precipitated a drastic decline in Vaquita numbers, leaving the species on the precipice of extinction. See you all next time!